Okay, so in my last video, I explained that we bought a property where there was a tenant living inside that had not paid rent, and we had to go through the process of evicting them. So I'm gonna go through the steps a little bit of how do you evict a tenant that is not paying rent like they should be, okay? Number one is you wanna make sure that you have a copy of the lease agreement, and that is any rental contract that you had at any time when they were paying rent or when they moved in. Even if it's expired or it's been several years, having that document is what the courts and the attorneys will use to base their case off of. So you need a copy of your rental agreement. Um, once we've established that we own a property and we know the people who live inside, and that's important, you need to know the names of your tenants, then we call our attorney and we begin a case. So we give them the rental contract, we give them a history of what payments we have received and how long it's been, and we also have to estimate or give them a ledger for what is currently owed on the property. With that information, we, we give it to our eviction attorney and they begin, which means they file an eviction case with the state, which for Salt Lake County, that means we go to the, uh, I think it's the third district court in West Jordan is where it is. So I've been there way more times than I ever wanted to go to court in West Jordan, but um, that's the process. So the court serves the papers at the property or wherever they can find the people, and then they have to wait for a period of time because the tenant has a chance to defend themselves, to present their case, to show, hey, this is what I've done to pay or what the landlord has not been doing for me that they agreed to do, which could be repairs to the property or anything like that. Um, after they have a period of time to respond, the court will set a date where we can all come together and stand before the court so that the judge can make a decision. Now, as a landlord, this is usually a pretty cut and dry case because evicting someone for non-payment is one of the easiest ways that a landlord can make an eviction. Um, the case is really difficult for a renter that has not been paying rent or has not been taking care of the property correctly. Um, it's, it's usually a pretty difficult case for them with, with Utah uh, rental and property laws. So it, it's kind of beneficial for, for us because we have the asset and we're taking losses. So we file with the court, we show up at our court date, and if the judge asks you to, you may have to stand up and tell your side of the story. I've never been asked to do that by the judge. Um, they, they do usually ask the defendant, your tenant, to stand up and present their case because the court wants to know what they've done, if they've made payments or things like that. But then the judge will make a decision. So I've been in situations where the judge will order an immediate lockout, which means we can go over the same day and evict them from the property with a constable or a sheriff. Um, I've been in situations where the judge will say you have to be out within three days, which is 72 hours, or uh, cases where they pick a day that's not on a weekend or not a holiday or something like that so that we can get assistance from a sheriff for a lockout. Um, once you have that lockout order, you schedule an appointment with the sheriff and then you go to the property and knock on the door and if they're home, great, you ask them to leave and you change the locks. If they are not home, then you can drill open the locks, change the locks and secure the property and they can't go back in. Now, they're, now they would be trespassing if they went back in after that time. Um, there are lots of rules about what you can do with the stuff inside, so be very, very careful. Don't throw stuff away. Don't uh, dispose of any personal property that doesn't belong to you because you can uh, find yourself in a situation where you have to refund the tenant up to three times the worth of their possessions. But, uh, you know, I guess from all of this, an eviction or a lockout from your tenant can result in lots of nuances of the law and different ways that you can get caught up in doing something incorrectly with a mistake. So be very, very careful doing this on your own. I've never tried to do it on my own. I hire an attorney every time. That is definitely what I would recommend. But if you have a property like that, then you know it might be worth it for you guys to call us and let us come out and take a look at it and see if we can help you uh, deal with this situation because we've done it a lot. Anyway, um, we're here. We're gonna go take a walk inside, so stay tuned for our next video.